to a well-designed business. My name is Luann Nigara, and I'm so glad you found this podcast. Together with my husband, Vince, and our partner, Bill, we have grown our company, Window Works, from the ground up. So I know and I understand the challenges you face in running your interior design business. I also know that your talent alone isn't enough to ensure your success. So on this podcast, we talk about strategies and practical steps to help you grow your business. But make no mistake about it, we have our share of fun here too, mixed in with those aha moments that I love so much. This isn't fluff. Nobody has time for that. Whether you are a new interior designer or a seasoned designer, I am here to help you create and to manage the kind of interior design firm that you dream of. It's straight talk and it's action. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, welcome to another episode of A Well-Designed Business. It's Power Talk Friday, and I'm happy to tell you I have Claire Jefford on the show with me today. And if you are in Claire Jefford's Facebook group, if you're a designer that is lucky enough to be in the Facebook group, Interior Design Business Strategies, you just started doing your happy dance, I know. Uh, And by the way, if you are a legitimate interior designer listening to the show, you can join her Facebook group. Just head over to Facebook, and it's Interior Design Business Strategies. Now, who's Claire Jefford? First of all, Claire was on this podcast, episode 237, and we talked about how to create video content for your interior design firm. And now Claire is back because Claire is going to talk with us today about why you should create content for your interior design firm and um, how to do it, not just video content, but courses and booklets and ebooks and things like that, that your clients want and will pay you to design. Okay. So Claire Jefford, if you're unfamiliar with her, started her interior decorating business in 2011. She specializes in 3D design as well as custom residential projects. She has a terrific eye for detail and she loves to mix patterns and fabrics. Her company was named one of the top 30 interior design firms in Ontario in 2017. And Claire is especially proud that she is the highest reviewed design professional in the greater Toronto area on house. She has over 90 reviews on house. Okay, now, if you know Claire, you know she's not one to shy away from social media. She has been creating videos on Facebook since 2013, and she began her own YouTube channel in January of 2016. Okay, so the other thing about Claire is that she has another side hustle, which is a second business coaching and helping interior designers learn how to run their businesses more efficiently. Okay, she has... um, she goes through process. That's, I would say her superpower is process and really helping you map that out with a close second to social media strategies. These are the two things that Claire really excels at. She has a a bundle that's available for you as interior designers. If you're interested, it's called rock the consult, a starter pack and the letter of agreement. This is a perfect deal. If you are an interior designer who is struggling to get organized, or if you're an interior designer who would love to feel more confident on your initial consult. So you can find these at clairejefford.com and go to her shop page. Okay. Now, if you are listening in real time, This is airing on Friday, May 18th, 2018. Claire is hosting a special flash sale of some of the different products and services that she sells on her website. This is to her coaching clients, okay? So this is for business opportunities, business processes for you to take advantage of. And this weekend is the 20th anniversary of the weekend that she met her husband, Chris, who happens to be an awesome guy. I've met him and spent time with him. Um, So in honor of that, May 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st, Claire is offering specials and sales on on some of the products and services that she has there for you to help you get your business organized. Okay, so take advantage of that, clairejefford.com, and go to the shop tab. Okay, let's just get into this interview with Claire. I'm excited to have her explain to you and get you excited about maybe possibly creating some of your own content to sell to your retail consumers. <sighs> 
Hey, Claire, thanks so much for joining me on Power Talk Friday. <laughs> Hi, Luann. Thanks for having me again. I know. I'm, I, you're Claire, I love having you on the show because one thing, I love talking with you. You're my buddy. Um, the other thing, I know it's going to be a good show. So, ah, yeah. yeah. So when you invite people that you don't know on the show, until I do the recording with them, I'm like, is this going to be good? Is this going to be right. good? I hope it's good. But when you're on the show, I know it's going to be good. So, oh, thanks. thanks. <laughs> you just have to make sure I don't go on too long. You know what I'm like? <laughs> we both have a tendency there. We have to yeah, walk. that's true. <laughs> Claire, tell me, we are going to talk about how to create products, courses, yes. things that de designers can sell on their website to consumers, right? Yes. You're going to take yes. us through um, what this looks like, how to do it, why we should do it, and some of these steps. So where do we start yes. with, Claire? Uh, so basically I just want to really touch on first one, if I can, is, you know, a product, creating your own product versus an affiliate link, just for those who may not be familiar with or, or thinking, why don't I just do uh, affiliate links? So my view is on that. And I totally know that, you know, you can make money through affiliate links, uh, you know, but when you create your own product, uh, you do a couple of things. One, you create, uh, you know, so, uh, more of a trust with your audience because you're creating something that you made especially for them that mm -hmm. you know that they needed. Uh, but also you are reaping 100% of the benefits of that. So mm -hmm. when you're doing an affiliate link, and I'll just say when I was on Amazon, I spent like a day setting up my Amazon account. And then I said, you know, it's adding in all of these, you know, headsets and, you know, people always ask me about my video gear. So I thought, oh, well, I'll set all this up and Forget it. I, in three months, I made twelve dollars and twenty-seven cents. Amazon said we're shutting your account down. Uh, yeah, you know, and I was like, fine, because you know what? <laughs> yeah, it's not even worth it at this point. You really have to have a, a quite a large audience to make affiliate marketing worthwhile, in my opinion. So I'm a real advocate of you know, create your own product, figure it out what it is that you're you're your uh, pretend your audience is looking for, which we're going to talk about today, uh, and you know, roll with that. It's a it's a it's more work. But if you ha until you get like high numbers and, and traction to your website, there's no point. You're going to make like fifty dollars in a month. It's, it's not. It's not worth it. Well, and the point of it is, is, is that not many of us are looking for our retail businesses. So interior designers through their interior design firm, or like us through Window Works, I'm not looking at ever making that a website that, you know, it gets ten thousand unique views in a day, week, month, or. Right half a year or a year even. I don't yeah. need 10,000 unique views to my window works website over the course of an entire year for window works to make money. Yes, right? that's because a very good point. We're driving consumers to our website so that they get there and they want to do business with us as an interior designer or window treatment person. Right. So to think that we are going to get enough traffic to support a 50 cent or a $3 or $5 commission on an item is not realistic, as you said. And the other thing is, is if you, the other way to do it is if you had a large email list, right? So you yeah. might be not getting a, a billion views to your website, but maybe you have an email list. But again, unless that email list is eight, 10, 15, 20,000. Yeah. And engage like, and opening, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so the thing is that it's a, it's a great model if your goal, like we, we have Laurel Byrne in common, right? She's a friend yes. of both of ours, right? Yeah. You know, she gets thousands uh, of thousands of views. Her half, whole yeah. business model now is- Half a million, actually, okay. every month, right? Half a million a month. Oh my goodness, yes. I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah. So, but the thing is, but her whole business model has shifted where what That's, she does is she writes interior design content yes. to, for people to come and consume. Yes. She's not any longer just getting you there to look at the pretty drapes that she no. designed. That's her full-time gig now, that's right? It. That's what she's doing full-time. So yes. And, and of course, if you want to go that way, yeah, absolutely. That's when affiliates is going to, you know, if, once you built your SEO, you built your site, you built your audience, then yes, by all means do the affiliate links. I just think that yeah. really, I think creating a product, I'm going to tell you how you know, how good that can work for you. Right. And, um, and yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. And so, and I want to share the distinction that you're also trying to point out here is that if you take the time to create a product that you're selling on the website, if the product is $50 or $300, now, if you only sell four in a month, well, you know what? $1,200 for something yeah. that you created, maybe it took you a day or it took you three days, but if yeah. you sold, made, 
sold three or four a month and made 1200 a month at 300 a pop. Yeah. Now we've got a different thing going on. You don't The point is you don't need as many numbers yes. to your website to that's make right. it worth your time doing it. And that's Absolutely. your initial premise. So both are valid business models, but be For clear sure. on which is your business model before you figure out what you're going to do. It's like we always say, what's your why, right? What's your why? Say we are an interior designer that mm -hmm. feels like, look, I've got some content that I like to share and I think it's valuable and I think I could monetize it. Maybe I know how to style bookshelves or I know how to do this or I know how to, you know, decide how big an area rug should be. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about yes. things that designers know based on their training, their experience, their education that yes. they can quantify and put into a product that a consumer can buy from their website. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Take yeah, us away. Take sure. us away. Thank you. So, um, so yeah, so the first thing I would say is, uh, you know, have an audience, which we're kind of just talking about, right? So if, you know, if you, if you don't have, you know, a lot of people coming to your website or I, I say a lot of people, like it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't have to be hundreds of thousands or twenties of thousands, tens of thousands. Um, but you know, have, have an audience, you know, and before you would create a product, I would say, you know, you want to have uh, you know, numbers have been said 3,000 before, but even, even if you have a thousand people on your email list and people that are coming to your site regularly, it doesn't have to be massive amounts mm -hmm. generally, but if you have a hundred, I wouldn't yet waste your time. I would work on building your audience, right? Right. right. And, and creating the work. consistent content. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, and the other thing is, is, uh, know your audience. So really, you know, some people think, well, what, what is, what can I create? What, what is it that I need? So what I like to do is, uh, because I have a, the Facebook group, uh, that's a really good place to either poll, you know, uh, your audience, you can ask some questions. Uh, if you have your email list, which everyone should be building their email list. Uh, so even if I have someone on the phone, I'll say, you know, even if they don't book through to a consult or if they might be thinking about it, I'll say, Hey, do you mind if I just put you on my email list? I send out once a, once a month and nothing spammy. And you know, people be like, you know, not many people say no. Cause right. they're like, okay, sure. Right. So again, you're just slowly building that. Uh, but you know, you can, uh, send an email out to your audience. One that I have that goes out on my, uh, Claire Jefford one is the third email I send out is, you know, tell, t share with me, what are you struggling with right now? you know, and then, you know, designers tell me what they're struggling with. And then that's, that is a great opportunity to create content, whether it's for my videos or blog posts or later on down the line, you know, different products that, you know, if it's, if it's substantial enough and it kind of keeps repeating itself. Right. So I think that's a really good thing to think about too, where if uh, you, you know, let's say that you're with a client and you, you, let's just say the clients, you know, they're not sure if they want to move forward from the initial consultation meeting. You know, maybe if you're kind of seeing that as a little bit of a pattern with some, some uh, homeowners, you know, maybe you could think, hmm, what is it that maybe they're holding back on? Maybe they're not ready to invest yet. Is there something then that you could create? Uh, and again, this is going to depend on your business model. If you're a high luxury and designer, this is not probably going to be something you want to you do. You probably don't need to sell $50. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Right. Um, you know, but if you, you know, if you think like, you know what, I, there's some clients who, you know, they, you know, a lot of times we do a concept design for clients. That's the 3D design. And we're not necessarily specifying, you know, finishes at that point, you know, but we say that's another service that we could offer. And, you know, here's a day, our day rate, and here's what we kind of do for, within that time, you know, but, you know, I, I could now kind of talking out loud going, hmm, I could actually do what I'm saying for my interior design business. <laughs> and I could create like, here's a step-by-step -step on what you should choose first. For example, if you're renovating, you know, because so many people want to start with the paint, right? The paint, the paint, the walls, or I had someone say, well, my, the, the kitchen cabinet company said I need to use, you know, one of these two creams, but I'm like, but have you chosen the countertop yet? And they're like, well, no, I'm like, you're, you're painting yourself, <laughs> don't just use that pun, but you're into a corner. If you're going to start by using the, a paint color or a cabinetry color, you really want to start with the fixed elements first, which is the countertop, the backsplash, what the things that order. can't be changed easily. Paint right? can be changed really easily. <laughs> yeah. Right. But I mean, for us, we know that, but for the average homeowner, they all, they, they don't. No. Right. So, you know, even creating something like that, where you can say, here's a step-by-step, -step, or, you know, maybe they want to, you know, redesign their room, um, you know, and you come in, you've given them a lot of great ideas, but maybe they're just like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm ready for custom or if I'm ready to go fully on board, right. uh, you know, so you could say, well, you know what, I actually have this step-by-step, -step, how to design a room and how to decorate a room. 
I mean, you don't want to talk yourself out of a job. I mean, that's the other thing, right? But I'm just saying if you see opportunities and, and you know, it could just be another string to your bow, um, you know, and then within that actual, you know, guide that you create or the process step by step that you create. So let's say, for example, you know, you talk to them about how to measure a room. Uh, you know, and you talk about, you know, the windows and the wall to wall, because again, a lot of people don't realize don't what it. steps are involved, like what they just go and buy a sofa and then they get it delivered and go, oh, it's kind of big for the space. Yeah. Or how or, about I can even get it through the front door or around the oh staircase gosh, bed. Right. Right. <laughs> so those are all little tips that you could put into your guide. Right. Right. Um, you know, and, um, and yeah. And then the other thing is too, let's just, you know, I know we just kind of poo-pooed on affiliates, but if you wanted to, you could, if you wanted to sell a laser measure or a measuring tape or certain, you could layer that into right. your guide and they could be affiliate links. But right. I, at, you know, again, at this point, I wouldn't get too carried away with that until you start selling, you know, a ton of guides, right? Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So, so, so the thing is now, if you're out there and you're thinking about this, there has to be a way that you are already having some engagement from, from the consumers. So whether yes. you've got a, a Facebook group for your business and you've been putting videos in there and you've got some engagement from them, or you do have an email sequence already um, set up, then that would be um, something. I know that we did a whole series. We did two shows on setting up an email sequence and an email funnel with Kay Whitaker. Right. So I'll make sure that I mention, you know, put that show episode in the uh, introduction. I'm writing myself a note. So the thing is, yes. um, you know, it's, it's, there has to be some way of getting them in. We're not, that's not what we're talking now. We're talking about once they're in, this yeah, is the type of product in. that you're going to put out there. Yes. So these are your ideas. And, I, and I'm sure you listen to Wendy Wallachuk's show where she, yes. is, yeah, she's, you know, she's creating these right in my Doma studio. She's yeah. the, the, the guest bedroom package, the breezy yeah. bedroom package, the, you know, the Tuscan bedroom package. Exactly. You know, she creates exactly. it all there in my Doma, puts all the links in, puts everything and in brilliant. and people buy it while she's sleeping yeah you know? yeah it's so, brilliant yeah no, exactly and and the, and yes that's the point is yes to also make sure that you're you know you know you don't you don't want to just be starting a blog and going okay what can I sell I mean you know you have to build trust with people I mean it's like anything you know you have to build trust people have to come to your site they have to see what you're doing or they have you in your home and then you know that sort of thing so it is it is a pro it's not just like hey I want to create something and I'm going to sell it in a week like no you know you have to create that trust for sure 100% um, but yeah that's a perfect example of having you know uh, sell a room you know a coastal room design or you know like you said when right. he has those things in my doma so that is you know um, a great idea. Uh, and then they can buy it right through there, right? Yeah. They can buy it right through there as well. Yep. 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 So, so yeah, so those are, so if you're kind of not sure on, you know, what is it that I, that I can create, it's a matter of figuring out what is it that your audience is struggling with? What are the pain points that your audience has? And, you know, what are your frequently asked questions maybe sometimes as well, right? Right. So right. Always good to go through. Like you said, like how to choose an area rug. And maybe you put together a whole package of that, uh, you know, with how to choose an area rug and how to choose to, how to know what style of window treatment to use for your room. And, and, you know, the other thing just to really to mention as well, Luann, is that these, these aren't necessarily things people might be saying, well, you can find this stuff out online. You can, you can figure this out. You can go here, there, and you know, this information is for free. But when you build your audience and when someone really, you know, when they trust you and, and you've, you've gone into a client's home, you know, they're going to be more willing to, you know, listen to what you have to say because you've been giving so much great information either on your blog or as I said, in the consultation. So yeah, it's true. We can all find everything we, we, we really pretty much want on the internet. But right. the, the nice idea is that if they have it from someone that A, that they trust and B also, it's all in one place, right? So you don't have to Google this for that and watch that video for this and go to the store to pick up that. You know, it's all, you know, because right. we all want to save time. That's what save time and money. That's two That's of the biggest right. things, right? So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you could do, if you're not sure, those are some great things. You could survey your audience with like a survey monkey and ask them, you know, what is it that you're interested in that, uh, you know, what is it that you're struggling with? And, um, and yeah, if you have a Facebook group, of course, that's, that's a great one as right. well, for sure. And, and that the least common denominator is if you don't have any of these things in place and you're committed to building something, you literally, you just like think about what happens in your consultation. Mm -hmm. what yeah. are the questions that you are asked over and over again? Yep. These are yep. the things that people want to know. So, exactly. yeah. Exactly. And, and I, I also just want to say here that when you brainstorm these ideas for yourself, would you agree with this, Claire, that some of the ideas that you come up with 
are going to be things that you probably can and should create, but should be offering for free. Yes. Right. There's for sure. You're, like you're not charging 10 bucks for every stupid little thing that you no. think. Of, right. Like you no. want to, if there's a process video on maybe the giveaway is how to figure out the size that an area rug should be. Maybe that's right. a three minute video. That's a giveaway. Yeah, right. Maybe that's but your then, opt-in. Right. 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 But the, yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. And that's, that's good. But then the, the longer is the actual 10 steps to designing a room, do it yourself, you know, whatever. Exactly. Know. Exactly. Okay. No, exactly. Yep, yeah. No, that's perfect. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Some stuff you, you know, again, like you said, like we know we're giving away, you know, we give stuff away for free all the time. I love sharing and, and <laughs> talk, we talk a lot, both you and I, right. Yeah. Um, you know, but, uh, but yeah, so there is going to be some stuff, but then there are some things, let's just say, for example, uh, so my letter of agreement is, uh, my, was my very first product that I put up for sale through my clairejefford.com because I was seeing in the group, a lot of people asking about letter of agreement. Uh, and it is, you know, it is a contract. It's a little bit something that people aren't necessarily just like, Oh, here's mine. Here's mine. And, and because, it's also a contract you have to be very careful with it like mine I've had reviewed by a lawyer I have a disclaimer when people buy it that says you know you should still get this checked out by a lawyer in your lawyer some people are buying it in Australia I'm in Ontario right Right, right. Uh, but the framework is there and I actually offer two and I do a walkthrough video so if I could just touch on that for a second, because this will give people an idea, uh, you know, now, now I uh, worked with a coach as well. And, and she said, oh, before you do that, you know, you need to do a pre-sale, which I'm going to talk about a pre-sale. Mm-hmm. The pre-sale is the idea of the pre-sale is that you don't want to go out and create a product. So let's just say you're going to put something together, uh, you know, and, and it's going to be like eight modules and, you know, you're going to have like a lot of downloads or tips and, and videos and and then you put it out there and nobody buys it <laughs> because you just assumed that people wanted this product, but right. actually maybe you just thought they wanted it and they didn't want it. Mm-hmm. So the pre-sale, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more on how to do that, uh, you know, kind of make sure that you don't put all the, your hard effort into it and then nobody buys it. Yeah. So, but when my coach said that and she said, you know, you want to do a pre-sale first, I was like, no, it's an it's an LOA. Like I, I I know people need this. It's a one pager, but I offer two, and I'm doing a walkthrough. Anyway, so she was she was like, eh, you know, and I was like, just trust me. That's where you really <laughs> knew your audience, though. That's I really knew really, my audience. Yes, yeah, I did. And you know, just to give people an idea, you know, on, on that is um. So actually, to date, as of this morning, I I put out this product in June of last year, and uh, as of this morning, I sold my 100th LOA. And they're for sale for $47 US. I had them on initially for a little bit lower because that's usually what you do in the pre-sale or, or for a promo period. Right. Um, but yeah, so I've made, you know, about $4,700 from that product. And, and I have a 30-day guarantee, Luann, for refund. Not one person has ever refunded any of my products. Oh, Not see, that's good. That, that's a testament that you're creating good quality products. Yeah. And yeah. that's another point that's really important. You don't just create something to be like, oh, I want to make money. I mean, it has to be something that's valuable. You know, you have to you have to put some something into it to make sure that, you know, this is what people want. Right. And, and, you know, that's why I do the walkthrough video with it as well, because that's an added bonus, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of times people are like, well, how do I talk my client through this? How do I walk them through it? Well, I show you and I have a video, right. you know? So, um, so yeah, I've got a lot of great feedback from that, but it's, uh, it's more or less to take you from the initial consult to like doing design services, not for purchasing furniture. I mean, that's, okay. you know, that's a whole, uh, that is a bigger contract. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't get involved in that because it, it also going to depends how you run your business. Do you manage all the trades? Do you hire all the, right. Do you, do you order everything yourself or, you know, so that's a whole different, this is just from taking you from the consult to the, to, to, to go, ahead and putting together maybe some sort of a design package okay. once they want to go forward and implement it that's different so you need to be very clear as well on what it is that you're offering because people don't want to think that they're getting one thing and then be like oh right well, I thought this was going to be a 10-page contract and I'm like, that's oh, right yeah yeah because you just lose your credibility you, you lose exactly. your credibility. yeah and, and that can come back and buy anything else from you so that's right yeah. that's right so um so yeah so and then um, if we can just t- t- talk for a second about the pre-sale. So, uh, so people say, you know, what's, what's the pre-sale? Like I mentioned, what you do with the pre-sale is you, you have a template. So one of the steps that you want to do once you figure out, you know, what it is that your audience are looking for, how you can help them, how you can benefit them in some way, uh, you know, you figure out what are you putting into this, right? 
<coughs> excuse me, you know, what are you putting into the product? Are you going to have templates? Are you doing a walkthrough video? Um, are you having, you know, a step-by-step, -step, you know, that sort of thing. Figure out what it is that's going into it because you're going to want to figure out how much you should sell it for. Um, and this, this here is, is you know, it's, it's something that you can play with maybe afterwards. I know talking to Maria Killam, she's had her, her you know, she has a couple books. Uh, and she said, you know, when they started at like, you know, 57, then it went down to 24, then they tried it at 38. And, you know, she ended at a bunch of different prices, you know, so there is no like magic Interesting. here, right? You just yeah. try and then you kind of land on something. Um, and I did that even with my video for profits course, because I put so much, it was my first uh, course that I launched I put in so much blood sweat and tears and it's eight, it is it's eight modules you know and uh, you know I have it up for regular was 497 and then the pre-sale was I think it was 297 uh, for the pre-sale right yeah. so I put up for that promo period uh, I, I mean as of now I brought it down the regular price is 347 it was just too high it was too high I held yeah. my hands up it was a little bit too high I want it to be able you also want you want people to be able to 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 get it right you don't you don't want to be have it be too high that they're like you know what that's too much for me right because yes. and especially if it's kind of going to re replace in a way if they're not going to go ahead and hire you for design services if, if designers are mm -hmm. thinking well I'm going to create something then really creating something that's going to cost a thousand dollars right they, they may so think hire, hire you right yes in lot, real life right yeah the, yeah, 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 yeah exactly yeah, yeah. exactly so it's finding you know a little bit of a of the sweet spot mm -hmm. and what's going to work in terms of that um but then also once so you do your kind of promo period and honestly like you have an idea in your head of how many you want to sell uh, at what price point and the whole idea of the pre-sale is that you know you run it for seven days you run it for 10 days you don't want to run it for too long because then it you know it kind of loses its excitement right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then really from there if you if you only sold four and you were hoping to sell 40 then you don't create it that's the whole idea then you refund whoever has purchased it right I know it's a little bit of a tail between the legs, but I mean, at the end of the day, at least you haven't spent 80 hours creating something mm -hmm. that you thought someone wanted, but they actually, you know, maybe it right. wasn't really as good as you thought it was. Right, right. So do you see what I mean? Yes, absolutely. The truth is in podcasting circles, this is very often spoken about is right. to go out and find out what they want, then, then, you know, put it, you know, put the bullet points together, put the skull of it, you know, the yeah. skeleton of it together and know what it is. But really it's the truth. You have to know that there's a market for it. And for sure. uh, so, and I, and then you have to temper that, um, you have to temper that based on the audience that you have too, because yes. if you only have 40 people, but four of them want it, well, then I would say that that's a lot. Like that's a worthwhile thing to create. Depend, yes. You know what I mean? Like, cause we're yeah. not talking about creating, you know, 10 module courses that are sold right. for $600. We're talking about creating, you know, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, again, it can be whatever, whatever. What, yeah. You got to, you got to look at what the price point will be, what the value is that's in it, as we mentioned. Uh, but also you bring up a very good point, Luann, in terms of, you know, the other thing is, is you, you you're only going to sell likely like maybe to 1% or less of your audience. Right. 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 So, uh, so for example, uh, when I did my uh, rock, the initial consultation processes package, that was my, uh, that, that was earlier this year, I think in February or March. And that's basically from the initial phone call to the, cons you know, right to the end of the initial consultation, all of my processes, all of my templates. It's very, again, no one's refunded it yet, right? It's, yeah, I shouldn't say yet. No one's refunded it because it's so amazing. Um, uh -huh. I know I'm plugging myself there, but. That's awesome. I love honest. it. It, it, within it, I actually hired a, and this is where we're going to talk too about having to invest a little bit, but I did hire an actress and I actually show you an initial consultation. I come to the door. How do I take control? When, how do I deal with awkward situations? And I hired an actress to do that. So you have, sometimes you're going to have to invest in, yeah. you know, what it is that you're creating, depending on, you know, how, how you want it to look and feel and what exactly. you're putting in it. Um, but so for that, I have my pre-sale one week. Um, I'm going to give some numbers here because I know people you know, also like, you like to get the numbers. Okay. Um, and, and I'm happy to share, I, I, you know, because I think it's important. Um, but yeah, so one week I had that going on pre-sale and the regular price was $297. I had it at $197. And then pre-sale, I sold 80 
in one Whoa. week. So yeah, so if you do the math, nice. You know, that's pretty good. Um, and then the other thing with that too is that uh, what you can also do is if you have some other products, then when people go to put something in their cart, you can say, hey, by the way, you may also be interested in X, Y, and Z. Right. Um, and you know, and, and a lot of people then bought, you know, the X, the LOA, and, the LOA, right? You know, for profits, right? That I'll, sort of thing. I'll take one of those. I'll, I'll take, take one of those. One of those. <laughs> Why not, right? Because I want to be fully organized, and I want to know what I'm doing. Right. Um, Talk about the, the what went into making that uh, rock the consult. Yeah. How many so, hours did it take you to do it? And you know how much? Question. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I actually wrote down some information. So in terms of hour, I didn't actually track the hours exactly, but I would say probably 60 to 80 hours. I probably spent on that from start. See, to, that's the right? part, right? See, yeah. that's the part when we yes. think, Oh, it's old 80 and you know, pre-sale it's like, Whoa, that's a lot of money, but it was, you know, two it's or work. three weeks of work, you know, it a regular was. work week. Well, one of mine or yours, but you know, yeah. probably two or three of most people's work week, 80 yes. hours. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's it. But, but that's, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot of effort. That's a lot of organization. That's a lot of concentration. That's a lot of tweaking. And that's a lot of making sure it's just right. It is. It is for sure. And on top of that, the other thing, and I'm just guessing at that, I'm guessing. It yeah. Was, I don't think it was more than 80. Maybe it was 40 to 60. I'm not sure. But you don't want to know, right? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. It. But it's, 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 time good. it's good. For a reason. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but the other thing to just remember that too is that I did also have to pay my web guy. So this is the other this is the other end of it. You're gonna have you know once you start selling products online, uh, you know for me I, I just like to hire people that I know can do the stuff because I don't want to waste my time trying to figure it out. You you know you and I have these conversations about the back end and exactly. everything that needs to be done and it's so frustrating. So I paid my guy. I paid him four hours. So he was about seven hundred and. $700, you know, for that. Um, I did hire, you know, that actress out, you know, and then I had my camera a guy who was helping me with camera. You know, so I also invested, uh, you know, over, you know, probably 1200 to $1,300 in creating it of, you know, out of pocket sort of money. Right. 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 Uh, you know, but again, I believed in it so much and I knew how valuable it was going to be that, you know, that I had to do it. In fact, Darla Powell said to me one time, you know, I love Darla. I know. Um, she said to me one time in, in one of the groups or on my page, she said, I would love to be a fly on the wall at your initial consultation. I was like, well, actually, you know, this is something that I've got, right? Because no one, I don't think anyone's ever done this. I don't think yeah. anyone has ever done this. And you go through all the school and you, you get out and you don't know how to talk to a client. Right. You don't know how to answer those awkward questions of, you know, how do I deal with my dis, your discount and, you know, yeah. all that sort of stuff. So, um, but the point with that is, is yes, it, this, a lot of stuff does take time. Now, I just want to mention too, have you ever had Carla Aston on your show? Yes, love yeah, Carla. Sure yes. yes. So um, Carla is really great. Uh, she has a, a good following, lovely blog, great writer. Yep. And she has on her website, and we're going to go check it out, she sells like these guys. And what she's, what she's done is she's kind of put together advice that she's done on like, you know, how to pick a backsplash or, you know, how to, uh, you know, lay out the backsplash or, you know, different, different things like that. And she was selling the guys, I don't know if they still are, they were maybe three to five dollars. Right. She was selling them for, you know, yes. but I mean, essentially from what I could make out and, and Carla would obviously know this better, um, is it seems like what she did is she's taken, so because it says like from blog. So, so she's got such a great library of blogs that now she thought, well, hey, what if I package all the ones where I spoke about Subway Tile and then I'm going to package it up and I'm going to sell that for $5. And, right, you know, right. and again, you could think, well, why wouldn't you just go back and read the blogs? Well, why? When I can click this button and for $5, $5. I'm going to download it and I have it in my hands. Well, that's the truth. The with it. Yes. Right? If, she, if she said, oh, here's every blog post and every tip I've ever taught everybody on how to pick tile and it's $150, people would be like, no, I'll just search your blog. Thank you very much. But yeah. everything I've ever written on how to pick tile is five bucks. Yeah. yeah. Five yeah. bucks. I'll yeah. take that. Yeah. And to our original first point, she has tremendous traffic coming to her site. She so does. To sell something for $5 yes. 20 times a day is worth it. For, you know, like it adds up for her. Where exactly the rest of us are getting, you know, five yeah. people a, a week there. You right. know. <laughs> no, exactly. And that's, that's, that's another great point. So yeah. yeah. So for her selling it at, at a low price point, you know, is as you say. Right. But the, the thing is, the lesson is, is that 
if you are a designer and you do have a passion for blogging or or vlogging, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And you're creating a library of information that you're giving away every single week on yeah. your website. You know, you don't maybe look to monetize it day one, but you look at it a year or 18 months from now. Yeah. And now you look back and you say, huh, wow. I've got a body of work here yes. now and I've got these five videos on this and I've got these six, you know, blogs on that, whatever your mode of yeah. um, thing is, you know. Yeah. It's like on my website, the podcast, I have it in collections. I don't charge you to get it, but right. there's 320 some shows yeah. now. So if you, just, all that. Yeah, if you just find the podcast now, you're sort of like, holy moly, like I don't even know where to start. Yeah. And so we have on the website, social media marketing, the things I learned, right. listener version. This way, if you're specifically, like maybe you listen to this show. Oh, yeah. this is this sort of relates to marketing. Okay, what else is in this category? Oh, there's Kay Whitaker talking about that. marketing. There's Darla talking about Instagram. Like, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. So no, it does make it easier idea. for people. And, and so, so to your point is, that Carla's at a position now where she has so much content that she can quantify it and put it in a yeah. single spot. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. So, so yeah, so she's a great example of, of how she's taken that and, uh, and yeah, and, and you know, I, I don't know how long it's taken her to create that, but as I said, she's already had it created. So again, if you've been doing something for a while or, you know, even if you're just starting out, you know, you can, you can think, cause in your blog, you can also categorize, right? A lot of times you can say like related blog posts, yes, you know, that sort of thing, right? In, yeah. in YouTube, you can create playlists. So I can create right. playlists of, you know, bathroom makeovers or before and after sort of thing, right? Right. Um, Very yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's, you know, really key in terms of, you know, making sure that you, you do, you have a pre, if you can have a pre-sale, if you think it's going to be worthwhile, because, you know, the other thing too is, is like I said, there is a back end to it. So, you know, you may spend, they say like, you know, 20% of the time creating the product, 80% of the time marketing the crap out of it. Right. Right. It's like, it's, it's like everything. It, it looks easy outside looking in. And yes. it's, it's not, it's, you know, oh, there she is. She's got these things that she sells. Oh, it's an LOA. Oh, that was easy to do. I could do that. Well, I don't know. Is it yeah. so easy? Cause if it was so easy, why would a hundred of them sold in last year? Right. Clearly it's not so easy. You have to have a body of work that you are basing your LOA on. You have to have yes. the expertise to put it together. And so it's, it's the, and it's the same when you flip it on its head to not mis- mistake that what you know so easily that you're consumer client doesn't know, right? Like they, That's don't, it, right? they don't know it. Yeah. Know I mean, it. Yeah. I mean, how many of us leave a consultation and go like, we just got paid for that. Like <laughs> I just got paid for, you know, you just think like that was so easy, you know, right. and I love the consultation. I know we've talked about this before. I, you know, I would love to just do three a week, you know, and then I'm done. Right. 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 Um, you know, so yeah. So think about, you know, think about that sort of, sort of thing. So it's a lot of, um, it's, it's a lot to think about, but at the same time, you know, we know so much more than we think we know. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. Compared to, compared to the average homeowner. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, so yeah. So you do need to, but you do need to have, you know, people in place in the background, you know, creating a lead page. If you want to do a, the video help sell things even more. So if you can do, I always try to do a video to talk about what it is that I'm, you know, I've created and how it can help you and hit on those pain points. Uh, you know, so again, that's, that's huge. And that's what I say to people, even, you know, uh, for creating any sort of video, you know, if you're going to have something that lives on your website, you know, have mentioned the pain points, you know, are you stressed? Are you overwhelmed? Are you spending so much time? Right. You know, cause that's everything that people are like, yes, I am stressed. Yes. yes, I, yes. I need you. I need like, to hire like, you. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> Where do I buy now? Where do I buy now? I need to hire you for two hours. Right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So that's, that's the, um, that's a key with that. And then, and then once you, you know that you've got the, you know, you've got a, you, a certain amount sold and you're happy with that, you know, then, then the work now also continues to begin because now you've got to finish creating that product. Right, right. Right. So right. then you finish creating it and then you really want to leave yourself, Luann, like about a week, again, depending on how involved it is. I mean, if it's an LOA, that's just one upload, that sort of thing. Right. Um, but if you're having like a few videos and some modules and some downloads, you know, if you get into that, you know, depending on what, what kind of uh, package you offer for your, your uh, homeowner, then you're going to want to make sure you leave it at least a week to give it to your web guy so he can upload it all in the back end. Uh, Cause you're going to want to see it. You're going to want to see it. You know, right. Cause then I, I like to go in and go, okay, can I download it? How does this look? And I'll be honest, like it, that to me on launch day, once, so once I've, once I've 
launched it and now the dates come and gone and there it goes and everyone gets their email with their links. I just wait because I know people are going to email going like, I didn't get my password or I can't get access. And <sighs> it's, it's a nightmare, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. and again, I think that that's even more of me just needing, you know, learning more as I go. Right. Tightening up those, those, but you know, again, you've got to be prepared for that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, but I mean, if, the good thing is, is that, at the end of the day is that, you know, if you're going to be in this business for a long time, you're going to keep creating content on your blog, like you should for your SEO, you know, and you're going to keep seeing clients, you're going to build up that library. So eventually, you know, some of those products that you created, like, you know, say, say you start now and in five years, you're still selling a product. I mean, some of you may need to tweak and update, but if you're right. still selling it right, and it's still relevant, right, then that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you get awesome. a hundred percent, right. A hundred percent of that you get. That's right. That's the whole key that you're that earning is, the entire amount. Yeah. That's the, that's the key. In my opinion, I mean, cause then once you keep building, you get higher, higher numbers like Laurel Byrne, then yes. Okay. Let's start talking affiliates now. Right. But, right. Exactly. Add that right. in. Right. Exactly. Add so it your in. rock the consult um, program that you sell, is it modules? It also, is that modules? It's basically, um, it's, it's got, uh, the, it's got three video, three videos, three videos. One is the, my, me doing the initial phone call. So you actually see me talking on the phone and how I go through that whole process. Uh, then it's a step-by-step. -step. I'm sitting here by my fireplace and I have a process flow chart that you download then with all of the templates. So it's very easy to follow. And I tell you when I use it, how I use it. Um, and then the other video from there is actually now I'm in the consultation. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, it's about an hour. I mean, I know consultations are two hours, um, you know, but I give you some information. Uh, also at the end of the video, I include four kind of awkward scenarios. So like, you know, so, you know, she asked me, you know, what is it? Oh, I want to have my mother-in-law sit in on this. And she has a lot of opinions and how, you know, is that okay? Or, you know, and you just like, how do I deal with that? How do you, cause those are the kind of things where you're just like, eh, you know, right, how do you right. approach like, that? Me? Right. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Right. But there are ways of approach dealing with it. And, you know, so it, I think the whole thing is just being able to see it, like just, you know, being able to see, and, and I, I work quite differently in terms of a lot of other designers. I don't project manage um, unless it's a custom decorating project. Um, so for me, I, I do a lot of consultations. I do a lot of 3D concept designs and I help clients pick their finishes, you know, but unless it's a custom decorating project, then they go ahead. They, they can hire their own contractor. They can use my guy. They pay him directly. They order the products. I might help them spec it. So okay. again, so it's just a different way of, of working, which is honestly like 95% stress-free. I feel right. in my life, I have to say. Okay. That's just on the buy. So, but I still think it's, so basically just to touch on that is I have people buying that course that have been in business, have just started their business, people that have been in it for a few years. And I've had a couple of people email me saying they've been in business for over 10 to 20 years. And they're like, I can't believe how helpful this has been because we yeah. all look at things differently. Right? Yeah. It those. always, it's always so helpful to see how somebody else does something. And the truth is if you're new in business, you might, you know, purchase that course and do it exactly the same, or you might tweak it, or you might be in business 10 years and there could be that one thing you're like oh yeah I never yeah. realized that or I never thought about that and it just yeah. like, unlocks the whole thing absolutely so awesome. I love absolutely. it that's yeah awesome. that's awesome so and then I was gonna say then the last thing that you want to make sure that you do is um that you so afterwards you want to also create content based around what it is that you've you've put out there so if you if you've got a guide you know on backsplashes or how to choose paint color or you know then you start writing blogs you know that also i'm you know very organically right you yeah. organically and then you say hey by the way you know uh you know if you're interested in learning more about how to lay out a subway tile or what color grout to use or the most popular paint colors right now you know i have a guide for $20, $10, whatever. Here's the link, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Right. Um, and, and I did that in my, my video, I call it make more money. Uh, I was saying, well, who doesn't want to make more money? And that's, and I talk about the LOA in that. Cause if you manage your client's expectations, which was all about the presentation right. I did with you at window works, which was right. fabulous. Um, <laughs> Packed house. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> woo, woo. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so, you know, so I mentioned, you know, the LOA in there, because if you do, if you present your LOA, if you manage your client's expectations, you let them know that you charge for your time. And I threw out some numbers and I talked about, you know, if, if only you charge an extra hour you know, oh, a day, an hour a week. Like, that was, was that the crazy? most amazing exercise ever. Right? That was the most, I, I, I mentioned that in my mastermind group, the couple yeah. of days later, I was just like, okay, seriously. 
Like yeah. you all have to hear this. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was and, amazing. So yeah. you, what you said was you were expressing that like if you just take your say your hourly rate as an interior designer, you're listening right now, you're charging a hundred dollars an hour yeah. just yeah. for easy numbers. Yeah. And what Claire expressed was the value of absolutely meticulously recording the amount of time that you spend on every single project. Mm -hmm. And she also shared that being an, an interior designer, you understand exactly what is the typical thing that many designers do. Okay, it's the end of the week. I'm going to bill my client for my hours and I work 12 and a half hours on their project. Mm. I can't tell them it's 12 and a half hours. I'll yeah. tell them it was, you know, seven or I'll tell yeah. them it was nine. Yeah. And then you send an invoice for nine hours instead of 12. And yeah. here was the rub that I liked mm -hmm. is what, what I like is when a tip helps somebody at least at the very least do better than they were doing before, even if they cannot visualize going all the way to where you are sitting expert and hindsight and knowing it works. And right. that's exactly what this illustrated. So the point you made was mm -hmm. that if you are regularly sending an invoice out to a client, that's three hours less than you really did. Just put one more hour back. So if you're not ready to stand there and say, I work 12 hours, I'm going to bill 12 hours. If you thought you could say, all right, I work 12 hours, but I'm going to tell them eight write nine, just write right. nine. We want yeah. you to write 12, by the way. That's yeah, we do. We, want you yes. to do. we do. That's the big advice. Yes. But the baby advice, the newbie advice, the I'm afraid to do it advice is yeah. just put one more hour on. And yes. what you mentioned is if that you're going to work 50 hour, 50 weeks this year yes. and you put one hour a week more on, Yes. Now you have to tell me how much it is. Is that five thousand oh, dollars? I'm shit, I I, this is getting that. to be a joke on this show. <laughs> <laughs> God. I know I was listening. But I love it. <laughs> never have a guest who actually can do it either. So okay. Go. So yes. So if you charge, okay. yes, it's five. So that's five thousand. Right. So it's one five thousand per week. Right. Right. And, and, and even this is yeah. like a Disney vacation. Yeah. This is a Disney yeah. vacation. This is right? like I'm going to take my whole family to yes. Disney on just this one hour. Yes. That I put back into this project. Yes. Every week. Because and then, you spent that time, right? You spent right. You time. well, you should have put three hours in, right? Yeah, but you put right. one. Yeah. And so, and then you said, and what if you did that two times a week? Mm -hmm. What okay. if you either put the second hour in for the client instead of only instead of three instead of one, but you put two or you had two clients and you yeah. really just put the one more hour. And we're not talking about adding an hour you didn't work. We're talking no. about when you're in the position of not being able to stand yeah. in your face and charge the hours that you have worked. Yeah. So, and so and what I was Sorry, I'll just, I'll just say, sorry, Hannah, I just want to yeah. say, because yeah. what I find is that we're, what we do a lot of times, we're sitting there at the laptop, right? When we're just like sitting down, it's the morning, you're like, oh, I'll just reply to my contractor. Oh, I'm just going to, oh, I got to call my electrician or, oh, I got to call my workroom and they've got to do this. And before you know it, you've worked three hours by, you know, just, and you haven't billed anybody because you're like, well, I wasn't really working, you know? So, right. so yeah, so my big thing is, is, is also if you, if you feel like you're not going to charge, because maybe, you know, you charge, you know, more for, I charge more for design time than I do for administration. And I do that because then I'm, I'm more likely to charge for admin. So we'll say a hundred, again, I, I just use the hundred dollars, right. but then I, and so if I'm driving and if it takes me 20 minutes to drive to my tile place and, you know, 20 minutes to drive to my window place and then half an hour back to my house, that's an hour of gas and my wear and tear on my car that a lot of designers aren't charging for, right. Right. you know, if they're, if they're billing hourly, if you're in a package, then that's a little bit different. Right. You know, but you know, you add that up. And I mean, if you could just charge even one hour extra, that's what I said, one hour extra a day. Right. right? That was the number. That's what it was. One hour a day times five is 500 times 50. That's $25,000. That's right. That's it. Right? I was just like, how yeah. many designers aren't earning $25,000 a year? Like, I know. Let's go there. Okay. So you just put $25,000 onto your, like if you learned $15,000 last year as a designer, next year you could earn $40,000. Yeah. I did yeah. That in my head snap. There you are. <laughs> See, you're getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> but it's true, right? So, 
anyway, so, so that, that is huge mm -hmm. for me. In mm -hmm. fact, I might even do a challenge in my entire design business strategies group, Luana, and challenge people to yes. charge an extra hour a, a week that, that, that they should be charging. I mean, we're not talking also, if you, as you say, if you're brand new and you're working on a chief architect and it's taken you 25 hours to do one bedroom. Okay. No, no, you know, you're, you're learning. Right. It's a learning curve, but yes. I mean, the amount of times that we spend, you know, doing admin, doing travel or, or resourcing something for a client and you think I'm just not going to charge for that. Well, mm -hmm are leaving a ton of money on the table. And the point is, is that when you have something like my letter of agreement, that you can actually, you, it says in there, you know, this is how I charge. I charge in 15 minute increments. This is my fee for this. And you're managing their expectations. So they know, right. Okay. You know what, if I'm going to be calling her every other day, then she's charging me for that 15 minute call. That's so when, right. you get, when they get that bill, they're not like, Oh, well, hang on. I didn't know you were going to charge us. Well, you did actually, cause you signed my LOA. We talked about it in the meeting. Da da da. You right. Know. Because that is the premise of almost anything. You can do almost anything you want as long as it's ethical, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you have agreement with the other party before you do it. It's as yes. simple as that. Absolutely. Because that's the time the person can say, well, I'm not going to charge you for every, I'm not going to pay you for every 15 minute phone call. And then the answer is then don't call me. Yeah, exactly. Don't text <laughs> me. If you Imagine. call me, you're yeah. going to pay. I got news for you. This is exactly. how it goes. This is how it goes. And you know what? I don't know if I have it here. That right yeah. now. That's what we're doing. We're agreeing to that. <laughs> yes. And you know what? And you know what I find? Like I just, I've got my bill here from my uh, accountant, you know, cause it's tax time and she charged me, um, you know, $400. We had discussions of various matters during the year, which included X, Y, and Z. That's $400. That's right. I didn't go, oh, I didn't know you were going to charge me. Uh, yeah, we... I knew you were going to charge me and I know you're not cheap. So yeah. that's, you know, so I just paid her. Like, you know what I mean? So, and that's the other thing. I think if you're just up front with people, you manage those expectations, you know, um, you know, then, then th there shouldn't be any sort of surprises like that. As long as you're not, as we said, you're not gouging them and saying you spent right. 40 hours on something that actually took 10. Right. That's right. a little bit different. So right. Yeah. Anyway, no, so I love it. I think it's awesome. <laughs> so I have to tell you, um, in the context of this conversation, what I have learned is not only the value of examining your knowledge base to see what knowledge do you have that you can quantify and put into a sellable product. Okay. Yeah. That I learned. Okay. I like that. Okay. But here's what I learned secondarily. Right. That I've heard of this rock the con, but the, um, rock the, I was going to say rock the podcast, rock the consult. <laughs> Maybe that's something you could create. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Right? Right? hey. Let's put that down. Okay. <laughs> that's what I need. One more thing to do. Let's yeah, I down. know. I know. <laughs> um, but this rock the consult uh, program that you sell and the LOA that you sell, what I've learned, I've heard of those before in our conversations. Okay. Right. But this is the first time that I'm really hearing more about what they are in detail yeah. and really feeling like they, I can see why you sell a lot of them and yeah. really want to just say that um, I like that, Claire. And I think that's amazing that you have available and that if you're a newer designer, the fact that you have never had anybody ask for a refund, me not having seen either of these products right now, I'm going to just say based on my knowledge of you as a person and as a business person, yeah. and that combined with that, I would say that I think that I would totally encourage a new designer to go to your website and purchase these things. Yeah. And we didn't have this conversation ahead of time. I'm no. just, it's organically coming to me that what, these are two of the biggest things that new designers struggle with. And sure. so the thing is when I heard about the rock, the consult before as a title, I was thinking of it in a different way. I was thinking of it in that process of having a phone call and having the consult and what do you talk about on the consult? But what I just learned now was how you teach a designer in that rock, the consult, how to set up the expectations, yes. how to set up the agreements. Exactly. And that's worth the dollar bills right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, what are the things that I tell my client? I'm, you, I'm going to bill you for yes. 15 minute phone calls right. in increments. Yes. I'm going to see, yes. that's what the new younger designers need to have clarity on yes. so that they can then send that invoice out because yes. they're, when you're new and younger in business, it's hard there. You're on the front line. Your client is peppering you with questions yes. about design and you're trying so hard to be poised and to 
be knowledgeable and to remember all the darn things you know so about your really right? side, right? <laughs> yes. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, like I know from coaching them for the last year, they're like, yeah, I forgot to mention that on the consult that she was going to have to pay if she texted me or she was going to have to this. And I'm just like, mm. Yeah, okay, yeah. You gotta lock it down. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so down. here you've already created it. So yes, awesome. Yeah, and they can is. get that at clairejefford.com. Yes, for sure. And, and like I said, there's even all the templates. Like it's it's crazy, like how you and actually I talked to we talked to Sarah. I gotta get I gotta get in touch with Sarah at my doma because her and I gotta talk about it because uh, I think there's yeah. I think I think there's a lot of ways that they can help with this, you know, integrate the two together. Awesome. Right? Love it. So, I um, love it when all my peeps play in the same thing. Yeah, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah. And then I just want to say very last thing okay. is that after you, after you've created the, those amazing products and people are buying them from you, get testimonials, yes, right? right? Get testimonials and then make sure you, that you add them to, you know, so underneath the products that I have, I'll have like a headshot of the designer and what they said. Nice. Right? And because right. you know, if people are really happy with your product, they're not going to quibble about sending you something and going, yeah, this changed my life. Right, 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 exactly. Or, you know, whatever. But and those are always. And you know what? People read reviews. People I read do. reviews for hotels, restaurants, interior designers. They read those reviews. So that's right. That's the it's truth. Really important. I love it. I love it, Claire. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me for the second time. Yes, that yes, yes, yes. I'm really glad. It's uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, it's something to think about. Look, if you're new in business. I would say the thing is to create the content, whether you're going to do it by blog or by video, create yep. the content, create Build the free the content, yep. put it out there, go back, listen to Kay Whitaker's episodes where you can learn how to take that and do an email sequence that builds your, build yeah. your list. But yes. you know, a year or two years down the road, then you've got a library of content there and you can turn around and call it and figure out what you can create from it and what you can monetize and how you can, um, you know, serve your clients. Right. That's, yeah. That's I mean, that's, an, that's what you're doing. You're giving them an extra, you know, yeah. an extra yeah. serving of, of something. If that's you know. right. That's but, it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me again, Luann. Love your green shirt, Thank as you always. Of course. <laughs> I should have wore, wore green, but you know, that's you. That's you. That's it. My hashtag podcast green. <laughs> All, right, uh, All righty. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me again today. This podcast is a production of Window Works, your resource for custom window treatments and awnings. To learn how we can help you on your next interior design project, go to www.windowworks-nj.com. And if you're interested in working with me on your business, either through masterminds or one-on-one -on -one coaching, or you want to know how to get my book, The Making of a Well-Designed Business, or you just want to know what's going on in the podcast land, and where I'm going to be. All of that is found at luannnigara.com. Thank you so much. Have an excellent day.